When we observe the rotation of the planets in our solar system, a few things really stand out. Venus and Uranus. Among the eight major planets, six rotate in the same direction. Mercury, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune all spin with what is called a prograde rotation. This is when an object rotates in the same direction as it orbits its host star or planet. For example, Earth orbits the Sun counterclockwise and also rotates counterclockwise, giving it a prograde rotation. Prograde rotations occur naturally because planets form from rotating disks of material around their host star, and they generally maintain the same spin as that disk. When a planet rotates differently from the others in its system, it reveals an interesting story about its past. Then there is Venus and Uranus. Both spin with what is called a retrograde rotation, meaning they spin opposite to the direction of their orbit. Venus orbits the Sun counterclockwise, but spins clockwise, while Uranus also orbits counterclockwise, yet rotates on its side. Of course, nobody was there to document exactly what caused Venus and Uranus to start spinning backwards, but astronomers have proposed several hypotheses. In the case of Uranus, it is truly its own thing. It rotates sideways, as if rolling, with an axial tilt of nearly 98 degrees. Some hypotheses suggest that giant collisions early in its history knocked the planet over. Other ideas propose that Uranus once had a large moon whose gravity destabilized the planet, causing it to tip over before that moon either crashed into the planet or was flung away. Either way, collisions seem to be the likely culprit for Uranus's extreme tilt. For Venus, it is not quite as clear, since it is not tilted over, but simply rotates backwards compared to most other planets. Early hypotheses blamed asteroid or protoplanetary impacts, but any object large enough to reverse Venus's spin would likely have destroyed the planet. Later ideas suggest that Venus may have flipped on its own. Friction between its dense atmosphere and the churning layers of the planet, together with tidal forces from the Sun, could have gradually applied enough torque to turn the world upside down. Another hypothesis proposes that Venus's rotation slowed to a halt and then reversed. Interactions with the Sun's magnetic field or strong atmospheric tides might have caused the slowdown, with the atmosphere turning backwards first and then dragging the surface along. A separate idea suggests that early in Venus's history, two similarly sized bodies collided head on, shattering them into fragments where they eventually clumped together into a single planet already spinning in the opposite direction. At the end of the day, these explanations remain hypotheses, since many factors can support or refute each one, and we do not yet have enough data to choose a definitive answer. That uncertainty is exactly why I love space science. There is still so much we have not figured out, and so many fascinating mysteries waiting for us. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoy this kind of content, Please hit like, leave a comment, or share it with other curious minds to show your support. To join me on more adventures through the cosmos, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Until then, my friends, take care and be well.